සුබදසනක් සියලු දිනටම ඕවෙල්ලස්ස විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ව්‍යවහාරික විද්‍යාපීඨය මගින් ප්‍රථම වරට සංවිධානය කරනු ලබන UW Expo 2022 පරේක්ෂණ ව්‍යාපාරික නව නිපෙවුම් සහ අධ්‍යාපනික ප්‍රදර්ශනයයි මෙලෙසින් ආරම්භ වන්නේ. A very good morning to everyone. Venerable Thera and all. We are honored to have your presence at UW Expo 2022. organized for the first time by the faculty of applied sciences of uvelas university the das hai vasare aarambha karana lada uvelas vishwavidyalaya sri lankave 14 weni jatika vishwavidyalayayi yuge avashyathawayan handuna ganamin jatika sampatwalata agaye kothu kirima vivasayakatwa weni aramunu peradari karagat uvelas vishwavidyalaya si upadirin rasak dayata daayada kara avasan uvelas vishwavidyalaya දැය සංවර්ධන දායක වන වැඩසටහන් වල තවත් එක් දිගුවක් අද මෙලෙස සංවිධානය වෙනවා. එහෙත් ලෝක බැංකු ව්‍යාපෘතියේ පූර්ණ මූලමය අනුග්‍රහය යටතේ ශක්තිමත් වන UW Expo 2022 විද්‍යාත්මක සහ කාර්මික වෘත්තිය සඳහා අවශ්‍ය දැනුම සහ කුසලතාවයන් වලින් සපිරි උපාධිධාරීන් සන්නද්ධ කිරීම සඳහා ශක්තිමත් සම්බන්ධතා ඇති කර ගැනීම සිය මූලික අරමුණ කරගෙන තිබෙනවා. UWX පොදේ 2022 මූලික වශයෙන්ම ප්‍රධාන අංග 4 කින් සමන්විත වෙනවා. ප්‍රදර්ශන මාලාවක්, ව්‍යාපාරික සායනයක්, ආයෝජකයන්ගේ හමුවක් සහ පර්යේෂණ ප්‍රදර්ශනයක්. ඒ අනුව UWX පොදේ 2022 ඔවෙල්ලස්ස විශ්වවිද්‍යාලය එහා බැඳුණු අනෙකුත් කර්මාන්ත, අනෙකුත් ආයතන, ඒ වගේම සුළු හා මැද්‍ය පරිමාණ ව්‍යවසායකින්, උපාධිධරයින්, ඒ වගේම පාසල් ශිෂ්‍යයින් මේ සියලු දෙනාටම දැනුමෙන් සන්නද්ධ වූ තෝතැන්නක් වන බව ස්ථිරයි. UW Expo 2022 is fully sponsored by the Ahead World Bank project and today it comprises of four events as an exhibition, a business clinic, a research showcase and an investors lounge. The Faculty of Applied Sciences is organizing UW Expo 2022 with the aim of bringing the university industry and the community of uva province to achieve excellence together chiragata sampradana kulawa pol tel pahan sil beluimai milangata ela mette keeping in line with the rich tradition and culture of sri lanka to light the oil lamp and begin today's proceedings i invite our chief guest sir Prof. Ranjit Senaratna, Chairman of National Science Foundation, our Vice Chancellor Sir, Prof. J. L. Ratna Sekara, Mrs. Upendra P. S. Sena, Deputy Director of Educational at Uva Provincial Department of Education, Secretary of Ministry of Education, Mrs. G. A. M. S. P. Ambanvela, Deans of the Faculties, Prof. H. M. J. C. Pitavala, Faculty of Applied Sciences. Professor H M S K Herath Faculty of Animal Science and Export Agriculture Professor K B Vijay Sekara Faculty of Technological Studies Mr G H Abeyira Faculty of Management Registrar of Uvelas University Mr M F Hibatul Karim Bursa of Uvelas University Ms K Taranga J Pereira Mr W D Priyanta Marsiri Mayor Badulla Municipal Council Mr M M Vijay Nayak Governor Secretary Prof J P R C Rana Singh OTS Director Mr Kushan Vanyarachi representing World Startup Hub Mr Damik Kumar Singh representing Trace Mr Ian Idamalgoda Chief Executive Officer of Maya Creations Private Limited Dr Inudil Ratnayak Main Coordinator of UW Expo 2022 and professor sandhya kumari faculty coordinator of the ahead world bank project
ස්තුති නැගි සිටමු සියලු දෙනාම ඔය වෙලස්ස විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ගීතය වෙන වෙන Let us now rise for the Wellas University anthem speech. Venerable Vachis Saratero, good morning ladies and gentlemen, Honor Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Ranjit Sena, Sena Ratna, Chairman of the National Science Foundation of Sri Lanka, Vice Chancellor, Uavellasa University of Sri Lanka, Professor Jayantalal Ratna Sekara, Chief Secretary of Uva Province, Mr. P.B. Vijay Ratna, Secretary of Ministry of Education, Mrs. G.M.S.M.S.P. Ambanwela, 
Dean, Faculty of Applied Sciences, Professor H.M. J.C. Pitavala, Dean, Faculty of Animal Science and Export Agriculture, Professor H.M. S.K. Herath, Dean, Faculty of Technological Studies, Professor K.B. Vijay Sekara, Dean, Faculty of Management, Mr. G.H. Abeveera, Members of the Council, Uwavellasa University of Sri Lanka, Registrar, Uwavellasa University of Sri Lanka, Mr. M.F. Habitul Karim, Bursa, Uwavellasa University of Sri Lanka, Ms. K. Taranga J. Pereira, Acting Librarian, Uwavellasa University of Sri Lanka, Dr. K. M. R. K. Kulatunga, Honorable Mayor, Mr. W. D. Priyanta Amarasiri, Governor Secretary, Mr. M. M. Vijay Nayaka, Director of Sonal, uh, Director of Education, Badulla, Mrs. Upendra Piasena, Heads of the Departments of Uwavellasa University of Sri Lanka. Directors of Centers of the Uwavellasa University of Sri Lanka. Senior Student Counselor, Mr. CJP Kulatilaka. CEO Maya Creations and Faculty Board Member, Mr. Ian Iddamagoda. Head Project Coordinator, Faculty of Applied Sciences, Professor Sandhya Kumari. A head Project Coordinator, Faculty of Management, Professor P.I.N. Fernando. Mr. N.G.R.D. Kumaravansha, Chairman, Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Uwa Province. Mr. Kushan Maniarachi, Uwa Startup Hub. Mr. Dhammikamara Singha, Trace. Invitees from industry and small and medium enterprises. Academic staff members of the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Uwavellasa University, event coordinators, uh, team leaders and members of UWU Expo 2022. Assistant Registrar, Faculty of Applied Sciences, Mr. E. Basnagala. Administrative staff members, non-academic staff members, school principals, teachers and students, students of the Uwavellasa University of Sri Lanka. It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome you all to U UWU Expo 2022. The vision of UWU Expo is to create opportunities and expanding university exposure. It aims to enhance the knowledge and capabilities of graduates for successful professional, scientific, and industrial career. The four pillars of the UWU Expo is uh, exhibition, business clinic, research showcase, and investor launch. Designed to strengthen the cutting edge research and advances of the university, industry, and community relationship. This is the inaugural year of UWU Expo with the theme, Achieving Excellence Together. And it will help rethink and expand the ways university, industry, and the community can work together. Welcome you all to this historic event. I appreciate all the parties for being with us and hope you will be enjoying UWU Expo 2022. Thank you. Oh, it's the Acharya to me. UWU Expo the Dhaas Vesidika Sangvidhane Vanne Uwellas Vishwidyale Vivaharika Vidya Peteri. Peter Dipati Tumani, Mahacharya Jagat Peter Golamati Tumani, Ombudman Time Gauroni Aradhaniya, UWU Expo the Dhaas Vesidika Samarambaka Sasiya Mantra Nekaran Lisa. We are so blessed and grateful to have Professor Jagat Peter Vala, Dean of the Faculty of Applied Sciences with us, who happily guided us every, at every step to make this event possible. Sir, the floor is yours to address the gathering. Thank you very much. Uh, and very good morning to all. Uh, our chief guest uh, today, Professor Ranjit Senaratna, 
Chairman of uh, National Science Foundation, uh, Vice Chancellor Sir, uh, Council members and all the invited uh, guests, deans of the faculties and all academic staff members, Registrar, Bursa and all the administrative staff members and non-academic staff members, organizing committee, members of the UWO Expo 2022 and all the participants. So it is my great pleasure to deliver few thoughts on uh, UWO Expo 2022 as the Dean of the faculty who organized this event. So last couple of years, we had very difficult situation organizing these type of events due to the pandemic situation and oil crisis. However, today, we were able to get together and able to celebrate a remarkable event. The main or primary objective of this event is to capture imagination of our stakeholders by welcoming the best minds and the many innovative ideas from university students, school students, and industries. Although the main goal is to produce graduates as a national university, today we were able to bring other and uh, other public and private partners to an one platform, overcoming traditional teaching and research we do. Therefore, I request all the participants to take this opportunity and fulfill your requirements. Finally, I must thank the organizing committee and I wish you all, a, all of you a good day and thank you very much. he is the strength behind us behind the achievements and success of our university. It is he who leads our university to further glory. This respectful invitation is for you, sir, Prof. Jantala Ratnasekara, Vice Chancellor of Uwabellas University, to share some words with us. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to be present with you all on this special occasion, the inaugural, inauguration of the inaugural UW Expo 2022. On behalf of the Uwellas University, let me also warmly welcome our chief guest, our long-standing friend, Emiratus Professor, Chairman National Science Foundation, Professor Ranjit Senaratna. Mrs. Ambambela, the Secretary of the Provincial Ministry of Education, Honorable Mayor, Mr. Priyanta Marasiri, and all the distinguished invitees. For a long time, we in the universities were accused that we work in isolation, separated from the industry as well as the community. We very well understand that our responsibilities are not limited only to research and teaching. It is our responsibility, huge responsibility, to make the public aware about the latest developments in science and technology, the latest scientific discoveries. At the same time, Uwellas University as an entrepreneurial university, always try to promote the entrepreneurship among our students, staff, 
as well as the community as a whole. We all know that it, this task cannot be achieved without the collaboration between university, industry, and the community. So that is why the theme today is achieving excellence together. Thus, the UW Expo 2022 is trying to address all these issue, issues in one event. As you have heard, today's event is a four-in-one event. We have exhibition, we have business clinic, we have research showcase, and we have investor launch. Four in one, in one day, in under one umbrella. Finally, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the main coordinator at UW Expo 2022, Dr. Indunil Radhnayaka, and the entire team, organizing committee, and special thanks to Mr. Ian Iddamalgoda, who has coordinated and helped us in coming to this event, and the, all the members of the UW family for me. They are in untiring efforts to make this event a success. I have no doubt that this event will be a success and hope that everyone will benefit from it. Thank you very much. Milangat elamuti binne UW Expo deh dah Swiss dekak samar ambag sesi ye, tawat ek Swiss esi ya wasta awak. Sri Lanka Rohunu Vishwidyale hitapu pukul bituman, hewa game wartamane jati ke vidya padanme pradhani tuman, mahacar Ranjit Sena ratna beti tumani, adu beti satahane pradhan aradi tamutta lese umbo tuman samband keragani berlebi me, apala dayi mahat bagya. Mahacar itu mana? Orang betul-betul pelibadan dalam keti handi ni mak sih dukirim saha aradi itu desh ni sandha aradi nak kirim atau mage aradi ni ya, wewahari kewidya pite pite mandal samajika, eva game Maya Creations saite ni pradhana vidaya kani ladari, eva game Sri Lanka Varaya Nagar Rotary Samaje garu sabha pati tu man, ian nidhamal gud mahatani ni orang betul-betul tay me gauravani aradi ni. It is now time for the address by our chief guest, Prof. Ranjit Sena Ratna, Chairman of National Science Foundation and the former Vice Chancellor of University of Rohuna. We are honored and privileged to have you with us today. To introduce our chief guest and to invite him to address the gathering, I would like to invite Mr. Ian Nidhamagoda, Chief Executive Officer of Maya Creations Private Limited, President Rotary Club, Port City of Sri Lanka, and fac a faculty board member of Faculty of Applied Sciences. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, dear dignitaries, officers, uh, chief guest, uh, Professor Ranjit Senaratna, and uh, my dear colleagues, students uh, from the university, plus uh, uh, teachers and the principals who are present. So indeed, uh, I take this as an honor and a privilege of introducing this dynamic personality, uh, which we met uh, one and two years ago, yet we have been constantly in contact together. So uh, just to give you a brief introduction about him, before that I would like to expand our vision on UWB Expo. We want to transform how the collaboration between industry, its community, and the university works together. So in order to do that, we have to uh, think of new ways. That's why the four-in-one approach that we have, the, the four elements that we have addressed to address the every problem that we are facing in the industry. In order to do this, not just us, we needed the personality who has a like mindset and who has been always pushing the boundaries of his institution itself. So I think I can't imagine another person who has the same capacity and who has the same vision just like we do. So therefore, we invited Professor Ranjit Senaratna. So let me give you a brief introduction about him. Professor Ranjit Senaratna is a senior professor of crop sciences on uh, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Hor uh, Rohuna. Possess over 40 years experience in higher education, teaching, training, research, administration, and uh, community development activities. 
So in order to give a small glimpse of the executive positions that he has held, he was the Dean of Faculty of Agriculture uh, and the Vice Chancellor of the University of Rona, Chairman of the Committee of Vice Chancellors and Directors, Chairman of the Ocean University, and Vice Chairman of University Grants Commission. So presently, he serves as the position of Chairman of National Science Foundation and uh, a General President-elect in Sri Lanka Association of Advancement of Science. So uh, as a Vice Chancellor of University of Rona, many of uh, you might know he has been ex excellent uh, in delivering and uh, his approaches in developing the university itself. And uh, to give a small glimpse of his intentional recognitions, he has been awarded with a uh, prestigious fellowship of uh, Andrew Meyer Fellowship and uh, Marie Curie Fellowships in international scales. And by going his uh, CV, I have found out he has submitted more than 100 research publications and communication papers uh, in order science and uh, written and edited over 10 books related to agriculture, higher education, science technology, and uh, uh, national development. So you have seen the caliber of the person. So let me invite Professor Sena Ratna uh, to the podium, sir. Uh, stage is all yours. Thank you very much. Good morning, Venerable Clergy, Professor Jantalal Tattasekar, Vice Chancellor, OLS University, and distinguished invitees, deans, heads of departments, professors, and members of the academic and administrative staff, Dr. Idule Ratnayaka, coordinator of this great event, and Mr. Ian Idamalagada. As you all know, if the faculty member, participants from industry, students from Uwavelasa University and other universities, ladies and gentlemen. It affords me great pleasure to be associated with this momentous occasion. And when I receive this invitation from Mr. Ian Idamalagada and Dr. Idun Ratnayaka, I most readily and willingly accepted it because of three main reasons. One is Uva Vellas University is not just another university for me. It is a university very dear and near to my heart and mind. Because of its unique vision and mission, that's due to the visionary leader and architect of this institution, Dr. Chandra Muldini. And then for me, there is no greater joy than being with the young and the learned. I understand the university, more than 50% or around 70% belong to the young category. I think that is a unique feature. And thirdly, as senior academic, as a senior citizen of the country, we have profound obligation and moral duty, profound obligation and moral duty to encourage, to recognize, and to motivate the young, the youth, and the students who would be our future. So that's why I'm very happy about this invitation, and I am here today to share with you some of my ideas and thoughts which I presume would be of some interest to you, especially in the context of this 
exhibition. I have selected this title needed transformation of our universities to common universities and wealth creators. Your Vice Chancellor mentioned about the need to have community developing close links, I call organic links, Aindriya, Sambandha with the university. So we would like the, each university not to be ivory tower, not to be cut off from the real world, but to seamlessly integrated to the community and the society at large and also become a wealth creator because the knowledge economy, more than capital, most soft after resources, knowledge. So we have to transform discoveries, new findings, new ideas into innovative product processes and applications with a view to creating wealth. So that is basically what my talk is about. Unique features about this thing, about my, this, uh, my presentation, the highlights, unique features of UV and UVLS University, transformation of universities in the 21st century. Are there differences in the IQ, EQ, and CQ creativity question between nations? Rapid pace of innovation in global technological landscape. Crisis as a mobilizing force and opportunity for development. Need for transforming universities as fountain heads of innovation and seed beds of new enterprises. And how the NSF could be a strategic partner in this endeavor. If you look at this uh, Uber province, it's the fourth largest county with 13%. I don't need to highlight you from this area, but just to give you the high points, high potential for tourism, industry, and agriculture. Yet, out of nine, winter poverty, fourth highest, and GDP contribution about 5.4%. This is in spite of the fact that there, is, there are tremendous opportunities and potential. That's why there's a lot of, I call, untap and touch, unexploited potential to be harnessed for regional growth. I think that is the mission of the university, as Vice Chancellor and the Dean also highlighted. Why you will ask the diverse? I did not tell you, but uh, that is one reason I readily accepted this invitation. We have, you know, 17 universities, but this stand out. It's among three well-planned and designed. Peradeni, Ruhuna, and Uwavellas, well-planned and designed. The infrastructure, spread, layout, all well-planned, according to a clear vision and mission. Then, not only that, it's academic programs have been drawn up, formulated to cater to, respond to that mission. That is a unique thing. And entrepreneurship is actually running across, common thread running across, whether it is academic program, research program, or management, anything, community, it is a common thread running. It is, I call it in the DNA of the institution and it's a borderless multidisciplinary university. And uh, this is uh, actually, if I uh, really caught uh, Dr. Chandra Muldeni, architect, he wanted this uh, faculties, this to borderless. Put it in my words, the boundaries should be more porous and permeable. So there is free diffusion of ideas, resources, maybe physical, human, etc freely leading to cross-fertilization, leading to synergy and complementarity. And also this is a university for community. So common university, that is, I think, unique thing. And 
we see this uh, trailblazer in the higher education landscape because of this unique attributes of this university which uh, made me really accept this uh, this invitation most willingly if i say little about uh, this transformation how universities really came about in the past and what changes they have gone through actually the medieval europe is 500 bc 1500 mainly liberal arts they were actually taught like theology philosophy classics these things but following this first and second world war especially usa and europe they wanted to really harness these universities to enhance their geopolitical interest and national defense then science which was not a discipline or it not it not even the back burner came to the front burner and unfortunately social sciences were relegated i think that was a disaster i will not touch upon here but that is another subject altogether but i want to say that is a unmitigated disaster now science science and technology disregarding humanities is occupying the front burner this led to this technology innovation you know during the world war rocket radar nuclear bomb submarines wireless coming all then it was very lucrative so industries got involved ultimately they start pumping up this one providing funds ultimately industry became an integral part of university university became really contribute industrial growth and wealth creation and there have been emergence of many new fields ict biotech nanotech and sciences so that is why now of course we have four ir all new disciplines but in 21st century you know that but just to put the subject in perspective early ivory towers they were cut off insulated from the society they were mainly given to philosophizing and conceptualizing not down to earth but living in a rarefied atmosphere even they didn't want to be disturbed by the goings in the community so insulated from the society but now different and now this now this era is different knowledge based economy they have to be crucible of r and d well spring of new technology fountain head of innovation seed bed of new enterprises providers of intellectual capital and knowledge workers backbone of knowledge economy through libraries laboratories and network key player in the innovation system creator of wealth through commercialization locomotive of regional development and agent of change my question may be less relevant to ulas but general question to what extent are this applicable to our higher education landscape especially coming with the uh, uh, ugc right and shouldn't we move in that direction when i say refer to it as i don't mean the ugc but we are that is the administrative setup within which we, we have I, i have been member of ugc you know so i, I just mentioned it because that the framework with which we work then if i just to give an example i think this is not new because you want to produce it but just to say that 25 alumni formed companies we would like here our students i think there are students there want them to really think in terms of establishing a company contribute wealth creation 30 over 30000 companies 4.6 billion jobs total revenue 1.9 trillion that is higher than that of korea can you imagine mit revenue generated through start of spin of companies by its faculty by its students and alumni if its country is the ninth largest economy in the world so this is also use this this brain there so i think that is what is important and now we have a crisis so it has become all the more relevant also you see great cities have great universities so we want who will us 
to contribute effectively to building a vibrant social, contribute to developing a vibrant social, economic, cultural, and spiritual life. I am sure that that will respond to that need, and it is doing it already within its means. Then some people think now MIT did, Stanford did, Cambridge did, but we can't. This is for Sri Lanka. I want to allay that, or even rather demolish that apprehension or that misunderstanding. By nature, by nature, men are similar. Through nature, they become distinct. This Confucius said, right? So this all time tested and uh, it is uh, globally relevant. At birth, whether you are born in USA, Canada, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Sri Lanka, Bang, same, at birth, same. If there are no nutritional issues, you are at birth, same, on par with regard to IQ, EQ, CQ, even SQ, spiritual question. Everything is same at birth. But it all depends what nurturing and fostering environment you are brought up. So that is what matters in school, at home, in society, at university. So that is what is important. That is why even this event is organized to create that conducive atmosphere so that students, they are latent passion for research, for science, for business will be ignited. And that will continue, that flame will be continued to be fanned through activities in the future. And also I want to say that now you know this nuga nuga ga, you know, you know size of uh, nuga seed, berry, but see the size it grow into. But how many nuga seeds grow into that size? Similarly, that applicable to our children. They have inherently high potential, but very few, very few. In Sami Apetiana, me push by a Ankura. Because of the Vinni, a Bibavi, a Prakash women, Tikai, Aditeva, Tikama, Milana, Vilayana. So, this is what is applies to our children. So, we need to really create this conducive and enabling environment so that our children and youth will blossom, unleashing their potential to the benefit of self and community. That's why all this. Vice Chancellor took the initiative of organizing and providing leadership to this type of very important events. Ralph Aldo Emerson, I am fond of this uh, philosopher thinker. He said, I, I, Some students, they are young, I think they are students. I want, I'm addressing you particularly. What lies before you and what lies behind you are small matters when we compare to what lies within you. When we bring out what lies within you into the world, miracles happen. Nelson Mandela said, if you say something in foreign language, it will go to your head. I want this to go to your heart. So I will say mother tongue, it will go to heart. So I also repeat in Singhala. Obata, idiriya nati deha, obata. Pitu passing at the day, over Tula at the day, as a thousand meter, Itama Suludaya, over Tula at the day, Memelot again, but Hakinam, Evita, Pratihara, Mavinaya. I think this is our mission, and our question is what percentage of human potential is harnessed in our country? I'm not referring to university. In our country, I think we need to address that. We have a really a so it's responsible to address that. Then, just to say, just to uh, give some, you know, evidence to say we are second to none, right? Even with all these difficulties, now, Mr. Vice Chancellor, 30 and of scientists became uh, top two in this world. So many problems, but yet they did that. Let's see the Pandam Peruma. They sent this Apollo, I think 69, right, to the moon, and got this soil samples. But it's not the American who touched the soil first. Sri Lankan American, Srilpon Nampirum, right? He was leading the team at Maryland. And this, you know, 
I think some of you also may be were in the stand, but I think here, uh, very entrepreneurial working, probably you may not be wearing a stand, but many are wearing, and millions are wearing, even in our country, but all by him, Sri Lankan, right? And then Rohan Pallavat, you know, he's Sri Lankan, and all the sensors for all vehicles developed by Sri Lanka, Sri Lankan engineers, over 200 also airbag, all developed, you see? So Sri Lankan, and this Sarat Gunapala, top notch one at NASA, and Samad Palihabiti is called the future Elon Musk, very leading entrepreneur in the world, young man from Sri Lanka in origin. And I just want to show now this person, now this Professor Siva. You know this uh, Bin Laden, how he was tracked. Technology developed by him, night vision, Sri Lankan. So all are like that, all their mountains, mountains in our intellectual and scientific landscape. This is only tip of the iceberg. We have several because NSF developed platform to harness Sri Lankan expertise. We have thousands. They are so, I think they are available even our university to, is to move forward with your program. And this one I like to draw your attention to, my dear participants. Now you see, can I move there? groups in USA. You see they are American. Average American, 56,000. Right? It's average. Huh? That is the GDP of 50,000. You see Sri Lankan America, 76,000. This also light, you know? <laughs> I, 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 so, so, that's right. Oh, you know that. Then, Sri Lankan American, 35,000. You see? Now they are all about Malaysia, Chinese, Pakistani, and white Americans. You see? White Americans. That's 59. So, only Indians are there, but so you see 75,000. So, why, 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 why they perform outside Sri Lanka? So, why they don't perform here? That is an issue. Those are things which you do But in here, there is nothing wrong with them. That is a message I want to get across. So we are seven to nine. Even for instance, last year, now this year, 2022, the most outstanding uh, engineer in Australia, Sri Lanka, is Karu. As well, Professor Karu as Sri Lanka. Now you see, even now here, a faculty board member here, doing the website of Sharu Khan. You see, a small young fellow, but doing that. You see? Maybe, but he's a giant in, the, in him, just a giant. So we can do, I think, he's also a faculty board member, so I think he's uh, also helping lot there. So I just want to say this one, I think this speaks volumes, right? Not that uh, all good fellows have gone and the, only the riffraff left there, no. Lot of good material, lot of gems and jewels here. So I think we should be able to do that, to make Sri Lanka develop nation uh, before 2050 by 20. 48, when we celebrate the uh, anniversary of Sikhism. Anand Somovil, I also want to share this. Uh, I know the, our, this uh, coordinator is a very strict time manager, but I know Vice Chancellor is flexible, so I will make use of his flexibility to extend a little bit. Huh? Right. Now, you know this uh, Arnold Somovil, he was with uh, Einstein and Max Planck, right? He produced five Nobel laureates, but he didn't get Nobel Prize. There is no Nobel Prize for education, right? But how he, why, why? Unparalleled. <laughs> but I will share the story, just give me two minutes, right? The last guy called Pauline, right? I call him Sleeping Beauty. This guy, was sleeping in the class, sleeping. Then uh, Somerville, after the class, called the guy, come, come, come. Okay, you were sleeping, okay. Anyway, I will give you an assignment, you do it. He purposely made it extraordinarily tough, huh? just to, you know, 
in our country say you don't come here to my class you go and sleep but he he had, he didn't do that you see this alphabet okay okay you are good and he said okay i gave about a week time then in 3 days he is coming with assignment beyond this expectations right this falling ultimately he got the nobel prize also in our class sometimes they may be sleeping beauties ah plus i treat them recognize they may be having ah uh, this uh, uh, in a talents right so that is why you now what we need is my dear now here similarly there are entrepreneurs among us we need to find identify entrepreneurs who could ignite now some of us could identify promise latent talent in children that's why he did kick that fellow out he gave an opportunity to perform going to show his capacity so we need to do that so this during this course of exhibition is the first one others i think this will be able to identify and train team or new breed of entrepreneurs uh, from this region i think that is one of the objectives so i want to extend that to entrepreneurship going beyond science then steel jobs right you we all know this but just see you know now you think steel jobs had all people expert in computer science just see here this is on uh, uh wording right i didn't change anything this is wording here yeah, only musicians poets artists zoologists historian but all turn out to be top notch computer scientist that is why this university multidisciplinary university borderless university we should have that multidisciplinary culture that is very very important that is why diversity is the key to innovation diversity so we need to ensure that we don't want to have separate faculty fragmented we want these boundaries to be porous and permeable so that there will be free diffusion of ideas resources across boundaries leading to cross fertilizer pollination and also elon musk you know all that this you are very crazy about even my daughter very crazy you know everything about this elon musk how is he even his net worth increasing by the day so is it what matters is not innovation the pace of innovation we need insane pace of innovation insane pace of innovation now look at companies microsoft now lagging behind samsung much faster rate of innovation and tesla far ahead of tesla i will just take it now you see jeff bezos man now you know you find amazon and now microsoft microsoft founded 75 jeff bezos 1995 elon musk 2003 this man ahead of all i don't take time to explain about uh, elon musk but if you uh, visit his links now to you Uh, youtube links you see he has no budget mr vice chancellor no allocation no action plan <laughs> he has only destination target every day a product con continuous improvement sometimes 25 to 35 software hardware improvement within a day within a day that's why he has a special supplier we call agile supply chain so if if he say i want this that man has to supply that on the same day that is how he is making elon musk i think you would, you would read and learn more about that man so you see how he has really risen above all through innovation at insane insane pace of innovation now you this is the one i come to now you see our brain now this is ratio man 1 is to 40 if one is 80 kilos 2 uh, kilos about weight right i am not eight kilo i don't know what my brain but i should have generally about 2 kilo my weight to that but you see animal much less but do you see much difference with the general four bones right right you see ant was a very creative you know sometimes they join and want to then they try to hit this sugar ha huh? crystal i have seen them no they have form a chain and they get access There is also creativity, is there, right? 
But we have this one. Uh, this is the one I would say. Now, George Bernard Shaw is another uh, great admirer of mine. He said, two percent of the people think. Right? Three percent of the people think they think. Ninety-five percent of the people would rather die than think. This is not only applied to, this is general to humanity. Mm -hmm. This uh, timeless universal truth. Sarra Kalina, Sarra Bahumika, Satya. Means, uh, but we have to change this, no? We have, this is the problem. Now, as academics, as institutional leaders, as planners, we have the ministry, others, we all, as you say, come together, come together. We have to address that. So we need more thinkers, more seers, more visionaries. Then only you can bring about the change. Even establishment of this institution as a result of visionary thinking by Dr. Chandra Abulduni. Now here, now subjects like philosophy should be taught. Now Mr. Vice Chancellor, I was talking to a professor from uh, Durham University, Oxford, Cambridge, Durham, no, UK, top notch. David Cooper. He was telling Ranjit, because I was trying to bring establish chair in philosophy at Ruhuna, but I didn't succeed because he uh, is not very interested, though the agriculture man was interested. He was I was crazy. So then he said, in Europe, especially managerial positions, executive positions. They prefer not scientists, mathematics, or anything. For them, it's not philosophy. They think critical. Now, you are a person, he's from now, from this uh, Russia, that you know, so many thinkers there, you know. Karl Marx, all, all three, you know, you know, this Karl Marx, you know, this Eggers wrote to Karl Marx. Since I have no time to send a short letter, I send you a long letter. You see, the philosophy, you know, if you want to write something briefly, you have to think a lot, no? But long letter, no? It's easy, right? You say, since I have no time to send a short letter, I am sending a long letter. Philosophy, philosophy. So I think, but do we teach philosophy at our universities, right? We need to get these philosophers with us. Then only we have thinkers, you get new ideas. Steve Jobs said, he didn't believe in market research. He said, people don't know what they want. Henry Ford said, had to ask people, what do you want? Faster horse, never a car, right? So had he asked, we would have been still having riding on horseback. And Alex and uh, Graham Bell, nobody asked a telephone from him. So this is the message. And you see, in the landscape, technology landscape, 2016 top companies, 2019, they are completely erased from radar, completely new, all digital guys there. You see, landscape changing. Respond to change, you see? So world is changing, that's why it's in a state of flux. So all oil companies have been replaced, right? And this uh, Amani Saki said, stone age came to an end, not because of run short of stone. Similarly, oil age will come to an end, not because of end of oil, right? That is why now you see it is coming. Now, this is a technology movement. You see exponential growth. I rush to it. The sleeping beauty, again, I come back to. Now, sleeping this beauty <coughs> goes to sleep 1990 and return and wake up 1950. Don't see much difference. But go to sleep 2000, wake up 2050. She would not believe I see you from a gossip. Oh, what has happened to this world? That is the pace at which they sleep. So then f I'm going to the end of this thing. Oh, Sri Lanka. No? We, many say, if you listen to media, they say bankrupt and uh, these students have no, children have no future and everybody line up to apply for passport to go abroad, all that. Now, can a country go bankrupt? No, I'm just asking, just, uh, just I'm appealing to your uh, logical mind. Now we have we have economically failed. That's there's no question because of policies, corruption, and all that. And we also respond not only politicians but also administrators, uh, professionals, academics, and even civil uh, community. All responsible, right? For this, you cannot just say. 
right? Ministers cannot do anything without the support of administrators, right? They all are responsible for this, even corruption, anything. So, but now in our country, all natural resources intact, right? Even Hinduism, yeah, don't need all there, all there. And uh, natural resources, climate potential, our like the power, appetite, or illuminate, all there. And strategic location, all there. So can a company can go bankrupt, but not a country can go, but it can fail. So I think I want to get that message across to you quickly, and then I will uh, wind up. So these challenges can really new opportunities. So we should use the opportunity. Even those the rivals and allies come together, right, during fight. In our country, it is still hard to see. They are still fighting. Huh? But I think this is what we leverage this opportunity. And then system, Silicon Valley, you could see similarly, they have created 5.4 jobs, even ahead of uh, MIT, this is the number one Silicon Valley, 2.7 trillion. And you see the ecosystems are growing there. Uh, here you see America ahead. Trade one is Europe, but going down. Asia booming now. Now Sri Lanka need to really fight this wave. This is why startups are important. You see, we have only 2%. I think of entrepreneurs, you see other countries, very, huh? very low. We are very low, our figures. So this is a very opportunity, the startup system. I am very happy that this, uh, this uh, OLS University, under this uh, leadership of Professor Rathasekar, and with the support of dean, staff, organized this very important event. So much has been said about it, but it's a very good event. So all key players are there. I, th I think that is the way forward. I'm sure OOL is setting an example to that. And OOL has a start hub there. I see all the ingredients and elements are in place to make OOL really a vibrant, not only economically, socially, and politically vibrant province in the region. And I have my best wishes for that. And NSF will be really happy to extend full support through its networks at home and abroad to assist that, even harness the global digital platform. Mr. Vice Chancellor, kind enough to give me an opportunity to explore about that. And finally, this is my final thought about that. This, uh, all reasonable men adapt themselves to the world. Only a few is unreasonable one persist in trying to adapt the world to themselves. All progress in the world depends on these unreasonable men and their innovative and often non-conformative action. I think I like to see more such unreasonable men. Men means men and women, right? And also children and uh, students at university so that who would contribute to this much needed change to make Sri Lanka a dual of nation by 2048. Again, thanks uh, Mr. Ian and uh, Indunil for inviting me. I'm very happy. I'm sorry I took a uh, little time more, but uh, when I see the young face, I get carried away. I took a little longer. I know Vice Chancellor has well, a very high power of accommodation. So he accommodated that. Many thanks. So also all the best. संबंधिकारणिमेट we have now arrived at the end of the inaugural session. A noteworthy contribution was made by a number of individuals to make this event a success.
To deliver the vote of thanks, I invite Prof. Sandhya Kumari, coordinator of the Faculty of AHEAD project. Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we reach to the another success story under the head Elta LC Faculty DP, Faculty of Applied Sciences, Uvelas University of Sri Lanka. So, it is my great privilege to propose the word of thanks for those who are behind the success of UW Expo 2022. On behalf of the Faculty of Applied Sciences and UW family, I wish to pay my gratitude to our chief guest, Professor Ranjit Senara, Chairman, National Science Foundation, accepting our invitation and being with us today and addressing the gathering more resource-oriented manner. Thank you very much for present today. And also, I must thank our Vice Chancellor, sir, your guidance and motivation with us to complete this task successfully. So I wish to extend my sincere thanks to Dean, Faculty of Applied Sciences, Professor Jagat Pitawala. Thank you very much, sir, for your guidance on right direction to success the event. And also, Dean of all faculties, all directors of centers and unit, and head of the departments. Thank you very much, sir and madam, for all your enormous support for this event. So also, I thank the Registrar, Bursa, uh, and all the academic and administrative staff of the university for putting your supportive hand with us. Then my special thanks goes to the Chief Secretary of Uwa Province, and also Mrs. Uh, Ambanuela and all the secretaries of the Ministry of Uber Province, Governor Secretary, Mayor, Municipal Council, Director of the Sonal Education, Mrs. Supendra, and all cha chairman and the member of Chamber of Commerce. Uh, thank you very much, all your cooperation and the support in the various way, in the various situations. From the industry parties, we obtained so many support. All the industry parties, uh, mainly from the Mr. Ian, uh, our uh, faculty board member, and the representative from the TRES, and the startup hub, over SME Association, so on 24 by 7, and Parallax, and all the other industries. Thank you very much for being with us today and your enormous support since initial stage of the UW Expo 2022. I have been fortunate enough to be a supported by a team of very motivated and dedicated colleagues from our university who know their jobs and are research oriented. Thank you very much, UW Expo 22 coordinator, uh, Dr. Indunir Ratnayaka, and all my other coordinators, team members, and all other supportive staff members. And if, without your massive support, to bring this event is not the reality. And also I must thank Director OTS and his team, and thank you very much all your valuable support and cooperation to complete the other procurement process and the financial process on time. And also I thank uh, Mr. Jagat Pulatiraka and uh, his team and the, all the media partners uh, for the, the media support and the broadcasting today. And also, I extend my thanks to Ms. Vasana, our project assistant, who is always working with me, uh, and all the demonstrators behind the scenes, and all the technical officers, uh, and uh, especially uh, all the students, and all supportive staff, and the laborers uh, for their enormous support and cooperation organizes this event today successfully. Finally, my deep sense of thanks and appreciation goes to all the participants, uh, Students from the schools and the undergraduates, SMEs, uh, if you are not participates to the today uh, to the today events, 
we cannot be bring the death event into reality. Thank you very much for your presence and your cooperation. Once again, thank you very much, all you present today, and have a nice day. Bomat mai stuti mahacari tu mieni. UW Expo deh dah Swissi dekar. Samar ambak sesiye mesej awas ani dek langga wenawa. Milang kat UW Expo deh dah Swissi dekar. Awam ambak ramin. A one day shan shala ve pradarshan kuti awam bivi mati niye mita ye tat tumbas silu dina tama aradana karnawa samar ambak sesiye awas ani. Samar ambak sesiye awas an karmin. Nagi city musilu dina ama jati kagiye wenu wen. To witness UW Expo exhibition, all are invited to A1 Lecture Theatre with an invitation to a day of learning and showcasing your skills and talent. To conclude the inaugural ceremony of UW Expo, let us now rise for the national anthem. Thank you and have a pleasant day.